everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I'm using the Just My Type stamp set. This is such a fun little stamp set with all these little options to add to your typewriter. Um, for this project, I've made an easel card. You can see it sets up like that. And when it lays down flat, that's what it looks like. Um, this is a really easy, fun fold to make. And I love making them. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It's not hard at all. Let's do our stamping first. Now we're gonna use this big typewriter and we're gonna use these two little pieces here. Um, this one has the paper folded over in the corner and then this one is just regular. Um, the typewriter is a big solid photopolymer stamp. So if you ever have trouble with your big solid photopolymers, um, getting not stamping completely across sometimes you get like a bubble in the middle put something underneath your work surface that's foamy like um, a piercing mat or a fun foam mat and that will completely solve your problem all right let's start with my favorite color melon mambo we will stamp that one right there on basic white and then we'll stamp the paper also in melon mambo right there and then you're going to need to get your cleaner your scrubber and scrub it clean and then we'll use pretty peacock and we'll do that one right there and we're going to use the not folded down piece of paper on that one and let's see do we have room or do I need to get another piece? Nope, I need to get another piece of basic white. Let's see, do I have one? Yep, I have one right here. Let me grab it. All right, and this time we will do memento black. So we've got to clean them in between each one. And this pad isn't as juicy or foamy as the others. So you might have to run it across several times to get an even inking. All right, there we go. And then this one we'll do right here like that. All right, now while I have the black open, let's grab our thank you. And you're gonna need a post-it note as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna put um, a post-it note right across that edge there. And I'm gonna do thank you. And then thank you again right there. And you can see how it kind of goes over the edge. Like it's down in the typewriter. All right, and let's do Pretty Peacock next. Clean your stamp. And we'll stamp that right there and right there. All right, and then for this one, we're gonna actually need two post-its because we want to mask off this bottom part, but we also wanna mask that off too, that folded edge. So grab your Melon Mamba. Oh, look what I did, I smeared my black ink all right, well, let's just stamp this and then I will fix it. I will stamp a new one and come back. I just want you to see how I've done it. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, by the magic of TV, I'm gonna come back with a clean one. All right, I am back and I have a clean image. Look at that. You know, sometimes you get ink on your fingers and you just don't realize it until it's too late but thankfully I have lots of white cardstock so I could re-stamp it. Now you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna get your paper snips. That's these little scissors at Stampin' Up! Sells. They are perfect for fussy cutting. And you're just gonna go around and leave just a little white border around your image. No one will notice your cutting because you've left the image intact. All right, so you're gonna cut all three of these out in the same way. All right, we're gonna grab a piece of basic white. I actually have two pieces that are gonna go on the front. 
Um, the back is our designer series paper, and you're just gonna see just a little bit of it peeking through. And the front is a piece of basic white. And I'm gonna take uh, dimensionals, Stampin' Dimensionals, and we're gonna layer these onto our white piece. So I'm gonna just use two on each of my typewriters. All right, and we'll put this one kind of angled that way, and then we'll do the black one kind of angled that way, and then we're gonna get our Melon Mambo one right in the middle like that. All right, and then let's put this whole piece onto our uh, Pretty Peacock gingham piece. This is from our glorious gingham designer series paper pack. Put that right there. All right, now let's put our card base together. I have a piece of Pretty Peacock. This is um, a half sheet of cardstock that I've cut at five and a half, and I have scored it at two and an eighth and four and a fourth. And it folds in half like a regular card, and then you're gonna just fold this up like that. Now to hold the easel part up, we're gonna put first a piece of basic white here inside. And then I've got this really fun piece of our something eclectic designer series paper. I thought those looked like little type, typed letters. And we're gonna put that down here across the bottom. And then we need something to hold that when you open it like, like this. So I have cut out a Melon Mambo stitched heart. This is from the Give It A Whirl dies. And I'm gonna just put that kind of off to the side like that. Now, when we put this on here, it's gonna go right in there and that will hold that piece up. Now, before we put this on, I'm gonna take a piece of Pretty Peacock ribbon. I'm gonna tie it around this bottom section. I'm not gonna do a bow. I don't wanna bulk the card up too much. And so I'm just gonna tie a knot as far over on the left side as I can. Like that, okay? And then let's cut that. You wanna cut those ends at an angle. And then I'm only gonna adhere this part to this bottom section, okay? So I'm gonna get dimensionals and go right across I'm gonna kind of sandwich that ribbon. If you attach it to this top part, then it won't pop up. You want it to be able to pop up. Okay, so see how that is attached like that. And then it'll sit down right there. Let's get our fold nice and creased. And it will sit there like that. Now let's add a few of our um, rhinestones. Increase that so it will sit. There we go. All right, I've got a few of these Melon Mambo glossy dots, and we'll put a few on here, just kind of scattered around like that. You know what? Let's put one on our heart too. There we go. All right, a really fun thank you card, fun fold that anybody can do. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. It will take you back to my blog where there's a free PDF and two other Just My Type projects. All right, let me know if you have questions. Have fun stamping. Bye-bye.